Assalamu alaikum. So for my previous videos that I have made regarding some of these Sururi Imams and Sheikhs, this was in the past. Uh, I, I was actually wanted to delete them, but I changed my mind because many people will come and say, "Oh, you you have be, you were already a Madkhali. You were already a Madkhali, meaning the true Salafi. This is what they call us a Madkhali. Uh, you were already a Madkhali before that. I wasn't, uh, you know, before I didn't even know." What, what Madkhali was, right? So, uh, what happened is these videos, I will keep them as a hujja, as a burden of proof against those who say that you're already a Madkhali before. And before, when I, when I was like looking through the things of these Sururis talking, uh, they always used to attack the Madkhalis. And I was like, why, why, did, why do they call them Madkhalis? Who are these Madkhalis? I went to Ikhwa. And wallahi, I saw the the things, about the, the, the aqeedah of the madkhalis, I saw the ways of the madkhalis. Wallahi, they call to nothing but good. They warn against sitting with innovators, accompanying innovators, promoting innovators. They make you firmly stick with the Quran and the Sunnah. And the fahm of salaf al-ummah, the, the, the knowledge, the, the, the understanding of the salaf of this nation. And they call a person to Tawheed and they call a person to follow Islam properly. Not be like these innovators who ally with any speaker whom they don't know. The Madkhalis, those who they talk about, they warn you against sitting with unlearned people. With non-scholar, non-trusted scholars, with non-da'is who have no knowledge of the Aqeedah, who have no knowledge of anything. This is what they call to. I have seen nothing from them except good, true teachings of Islam. Their aqidah, their manahij also agree with Sheikh Ibn Uthaymeen, Sheikh Salih Al-Fawzan, Sheikh Ibn Baz, Sheikh Al-Albani, all of these scholars, Sheikh Salih Al-Luhaydan. If you look at Rabi' Al-Madkhali and the Madkhali, those who call, they call Madkhali speakers, if you look at their aqidahs, their ways, you listen to them. You will see them no different than Sheikh Salih Al Fawzan, the sayings of Sheikh Salih Al Fawzan, the way the beliefs of Sheikh Salih Al Fawzan and Ibn Uthaymeen and Ibn Baz and Sheikh Al Albani. You see nothing different from them. You see them calling to the true Islam, to follow Islam strictly, to not be a layman and go around and choose your listeners. Yani, we have seen nothing from the Sururis except they make takfir. They, this guy, Mos Shamsuddin, whom this fool Ahmed defends. Uh, here on here he 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 defends him Moshe Hamsiddin made takfir on Imam Nawi Imam Ibn Hajar he made takfir on Imam Al-Suyuti Sheikh Salih Al-Fawzan all of these shares praise and the Salaf they praise Imam Nawi Imam Ibn Hajar they praise Al-Suyuti they say Rahimahullah meaning he's a Muslim I have seen nothing from these Madkhalis except good Yani the same teaching they go and make their own aqidahs and say no 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 I have discovered this have, this is called a muta'alim a person who says oh I discovered this he's not a scholar his teachers are not known nothing of that he's not to be trusted yani his, his, his views should be thrown ard al ha'at should be thrown straight against the wall we don't need these views we only take from the trusted scholars Sheikh Salih Fawzan Ibn Baz uh, Sheikh Ibn Uthaymin Al Albani when we take from these scholars we are upon good because the ways that they're telling us is the correct ways, is the correct views, is the correct opinions. We stick to them. And the Prophet ﷺ said, the scholars are inheritors of the Prophet. Uh, scholars are inheritors of the Prophets. They, inherit, they did not inherit from the Prophets dinar or gold. They inherited knowledge. And يعني, you look at it logically. If you see a person as a scholar, Muslim scholar, He's an expert in this field. He's a trusted, trusted Muslim scholar, expert in this field. And you see another man, layman, who goes around and talks like a rawai bida. He, he acts like as if he's a scholar, while he's a muta'alim. And he's a jahil. Which one do you take? Do I take from the expert or take from this guy? If I go to the doctor, do I take from a doctor or take from a healer? A person who's not a doctor. Who do I take? Who do I go for uh, shifa? If I want to cure myself, do I go to the doctor so the doctor can give me the correct medication? Or do I go to an idiot who gives me a medication that may kill me, that may cause side effects? That I don't even know who this guy is. I don't even know he's an he's not even an expert in, in the field as the doctor is. Who, to who do I go? I Of course, I go to a doctor, an expert, the one who has a certificate, who's certified. 
I don't go to an idiot like Muhammad Shamsi bin Shamsuddin or Uthman al-Khamis al-Khasis and take from them knowledge. So what I will do is these videos, I, I, I go back on them, yani I, I leave them. And what I will do is I will leave them as a hujjah against those who say, no, you, you already a madkhali in the first place. I'll tell them, no, I was upon the haq searching for the truth. Before, I didn't even know who Rabi' al-Madkhali was. But then when I searched about him, I saw nothing nothing different than Sheikh Ibn Uthaymeen, Ibn Baz, Sheikh Saleh al-Fawzan al-Albani. I saw nothing different. His views were the same. His aqidah was the same. His way was the same. His salafiyah was the same. But you go around and see these sururis who cut and paste videos and switched they just want to fabricate there are people of desires they fabricate things like maybe a sheikh was talking about in context of a certain thing they take this out of context and they use it while the sheikh's view is actually the context that the madkhalis took from in full context no they take only the little words the little portions they take some things that have to do with other things and they say look this is what the sheikh said regarding this and this is what he said regarding that they just want to um if you want to throw the sheikhs out of the bus, you do this. You say, no, no, there's another opinion. There's this, there's that, there's that. I, uh, yani, go look, rebelling against the Muslim leader. You see a surur is saying, yeah, there's difference of opinion. There's no consensus. You see, you look, Sheikh Salih al-Fawzani clearly says, Sawt wa sura. Sawt wa sura. In a recording, you see him speaking. His lips moving the way that he's speaking. And you see his picture speaking. You see him, him says, the Salaf in Usul al-Aqidah, they have no difference of opinion. There is a consensus. The khuruj is not allowed. You see a sururi, oh, he goes, he goes, says, you know, Sheikh Muqbal al-Wadi'i said that this portion is, uh, is da'if. And you go look to Sheikh Muqbal al-Wadi'i uh, speak. And it's all about, you're not allowed to go against the Muslim rulers. It's haram, it's forbidden. There is consensus that you're not allowed to go. So they take things out of context. They take this last things out of context. They don't look at the other things of Muqbal Wadi'i regarding the other hadiths that say it, the same exact speech in context which makes the hadith sahih. If there's two weak statements in two sahih mutawatir hadiths, they, they, they can become sahih. Even look at your own Uthman al-Khasis. He says that sometimes a weak saying or a weak saying in two different hadiths, if this happens most of the time it can become sahih. It can become proven. Maybe this person didn't hear it directly, but you have another hadith saying the same wording as this person stated, and it has been connected. So it becomes, you know, both statements become sahih. So anyway, I want to put this video out. Stay away from the sururis. Don't be, don't be fooled by them. Wallahi, I, I, I used to listen to them. I used to listen to Amthal Muhammad bin Shams al-Din. And, but later on when I had when I studied and there's more knowledge I came to view that these they're attacking Madkhalis to throw away these scholars and to go around and um, become famous to go around and continue spreading their falsehood this is what they want if they see if they see a person they, uh, who's warning against someone they say he's a Madkhali because he doesn't want me to he doesn't want people to listen to me that won't make me famous that won't make my beloved sheikh famous that won't make this person famous so we have to make ourselves famous we have to make ourselves we have to have followers but these madkhis don't want us to have followers this is what they say and this is the thing they want to continue spreading their false teachings they want to continue spreading their lies and they won't be able to do that unless they have people pointing towards them if they have people ward, warning against them and warning and warding people off from their path they will become little and scared they will become little and scared and they won't be famous anymore but they want to be famous this is what they want they want to have a platform they want to speak on a platform in jahl with no knowledge stay away from these sururis and these ikhwanis